curled up in the corner, looking away, body really, really tense, tail tucked. He wouldn't let us touch him. If we tried to touch him, he would back up or duck out of it or run away. We were not sure Diego was gonna make it. We didn't think he would be able to come around fast enough that he could live in a home. We really had to do several different things for him. The main one was playgroups. We would try as much as we can to touch him in there because that's where he's most comfortable. He would come up and approach and allow a little touch here and a little there. We worked a lot on just having new people feed him treats or touch his chin, touch his chest. Just did a lot of people interaction. The progress from when he first came into now was in really little steps and it was over months. And you can see just a little bit at a time. We will be fish by the dawn. You know, I walked him over and put him in his new room and we were all so ecstatic for him. He's really come a long way and even when we as behaviors think they are the best dogs in the world, it takes a long time for them to get adopted out. So I got a call that somebody was here to meet Diego, so I went over immediately. He actually approached her right away. There was something about him that made me really want to meet him, and then, you know, whatever he comes with is just what he comes with. I'm happy to meet him where he's at, because he'll do that for me, too, in his, way, in his own way. I'm just excited to get to know him. a dog that I didn't know was going to live, and here he is going home. It really makes you feel like you've done something worthwhile. It is heartbreaking to know that dogs like Diego haven't made it, and still in other shelters aren't making it. I know that we can do it. I know that we can save these dogs, but we can't do it without your help. We can't do it without time. We can't do it without money. We see something in them, and we know that they can make it. <laughs>